Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 25 on M series MacBook using VirtualBox. So whether you are a beginner, curious about Linux, or you just want to run Ubuntu without messing with your main system, this is the perfect guide for you. I'll go through everything from downloading the required files to setting up your virtual machine and running Ubuntu smoothly on your Mac. So let's get started and bring Linux to your life. For this process, we will be needing these three files. The first one is the Ubuntu 25 ISO file. The next is the VirtualBox setup file. And the last one is the VirtualBox extension pack. So, open any browser and search Ubuntu ISO and open the first official link. So here you can see the Ubuntu 24 version. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see the Ubuntu 25 version. For running it on a M series MacBook, you need to download the ARM version of the file. Just click on the download button and save the file to your desktop. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. Next, you have to download the VirtualBox setup file. To do that, Google VirtualBox for Mac and open the first official link. So this is the official VirtualBox website. Under VirtualBox platform packages, click on the macOS Apple Silicon hosts and download the VirtualBox setup file and save it to your desktop. Next, under VirtualBox extension pack, click on accept and download button and save the VirtualBox extension pack on your desktop. Once all these files are downloaded, close your browser. Now, Double click on the VirtualBox setup file and proceed with the installation. The steps are very basic, just follow the on screen instructions to install VirtualBox on your Mac. Once installed, open VirtualBox. Now, drag and drop your VirtualBox extension pack file to install it. Now you will see this pop-up to install VirtualBox extension pack. Just click on the install button to install the VirtualBox extension pack. Once everything is ready, the next step is to create your Ubuntu virtual machine. To do that, click on new. Under name, type in a name for your virtual machine. I'm keeping it Ubuntu. Now, under ISO image, click on the downward arrow and select others. Now locate your Ubuntu ISO file that you have just downloaded. Once the file is selected, click on the open button. Now keep everything as default and then click on unattended tab. So here you will have to type in your Ubuntu username and password. So make sure you remember this as well as we will be needing this while logging in to your Ubuntu system. Now this is a very crucial step. Here, we will force install the guest editions. So this feature is unique to the latest VirtualBox version. And previously, we had to manually install the guest editions, which was a very complicated process. So just tick on guest edition checkbox and locate your guest edition ISO file. Here, you will see this ISO file that has been attached by default. So VirtualBox guest editions are essential for improving the performance and usability of the virtual machines, which includes display resolution, mouse integration, and many other required features. So moving on, under hardware, increase your base memory to a desired grain limit. I will keep it something around 4 gigs. Under processors, increase your number of processors to 4. So once everything is set, click on the finish button and your Ubuntu virtual machine will automatically start booting. Now, as you can see that the window is very small. In order to make it large, just click on view on the top panel and then select scaled mode. Now, double click on the Ubuntu VM tab to make it even bigger. Here, you will see these three options. So you have to select try or install Ubuntu and press enter on your keyboard. So with this, your Ubuntu installation will begin. Now you can sit tight and relax for around 15 minutes until the installation is complete. So for me, it took around 14 minutes to complete the installation process, after which your virtual machine will automatically shut down. So if you encounter this page saying that there is a problem detected, all you have to do is to ignore the system error and close your virtual machine. Your installation is already successful. 
So once the installation is complete and your virtual machine is turned off, you can just click on the start button and you will be booted into your Ubuntu operating system. So once started, you will be redirected to the login screen where you will have to input your password. Just type in your password and press enter. So congratulations, your Ubuntu is now ready and you can explore its features and enjoy Ubuntu 25 on M-Series MacBook. So here are a few more important steps that you need to perform to update your Ubuntu to the latest version. To do that, open terminal and type in the following command. Once typed, press enter. Now, this will take a while and it will update all your Linux headers. Once done, type in the following command. Once typed, press enter. So this will update all the applications to the latest version. Once everything is complete, just restart your virtual machine. Now, if you like, you can change your screen resolution. To do that, right click on your desktop and click on De display settings. Under resolution, you can opt for the best resolution for your Ubuntu system. So I will select this and then click on apply. You can also explore the app center and install applications, any application that you wish to use on your Ubuntu operating system. To turn off your virtual machine, just click on this account icon on the top right corner and click on the power button to shut it down. You can also play with the VirtualBox VM settings and make changes if needed. For example, you can go to advanced settings and enable bi-directional, shared clipboard and drag and drop. You can also increase your video memory if needed. You can make any changes depending upon your needs. So if you ever want to start your Ubuntu, just open your VirtualBox and click on the start button to restart your Ubuntu operating system. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you face any issues, just comment down below and I will get back to you. So don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorial like this. I'll see you in the next one.